oh, fucking trolley guy is gonna come over. Shit. What's going on guys and welcome to vlog number 3 This is how to camera wrap your car for £30 If I'm completely honest with you this video starts basically back when I was at a small car meet over in Blue Water. So I pulled up to the car meet, uh, saw some guys there that we had seen before, pulled over and my car basically got a lot of attention. Now as you've mostly seen in some of the videos that we've shot already, my car is standard height however it's currently sporting a matte black camo wrap on gloss black paint. Now it was really that which kind of was a game changer for me. Not game changer as in I was suddenly killing, I don't know, car shows, but the game changer as in it was a thing that started turning heads for people to actually look at my car. I went from driving a classic 1989 Mini to the R53 that I've got now, and if I'm completely honest with you, my classic Mini is loud as fuck, and my new Mini is loud, but not as loud as the old one. Now, if there's one thing that I know, Having people look at my car when I'm driving past is a thing that makes me happy. It shows people are either appreciating my work or they're hating it. Either way, it puts a smile on my face. So basically, to mix it up a bit, I started rattling my brain for ideas and for basically things that are gonna make my car stand out. This vlog is gonna be more informative, however, it's gonna be one of our most important ones. Why? Purely because it stands for what we're really about. We're about doing cheap monster cars because obviously of the price range which comes with some of the more expensive ones. We are looking to modify our cars in a way which basically makes us stand out from the rest. However, do it for the lowest price possible. So to start off the vlog, what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna show you what I did a couple of days ago from now. I did a bit of market research on other companies of basically bringing them up, asking them the prices of what I would, or what it would be around about for a camera wrap. And from there, I got some crazy, crazy answers. Watch this. Spotted you online, I'm looking to get my car wrapped, but I don't want, I don't want the whole thing wrapped. Basically, I've got a uh, R53 uh, Mini Cooper S 2004, and um, I'm looking to go with like a battleship camo um, on my on my car. Right, you probably you'll be looking upwards of six hundred pounds. Sir. Okay. Yeah, how can I help you? Um, basically, mate, I'm, I'm ringing in just to get a, a just a quick rough quote over the phone. It's yeah. just individual bits of of vinyl, obviously stuck on. It's not like a whole wrap with camo on. Does that yeah. make sense? So, um, how how much would I be looking at for the whole car to be done? Do you know? Um, you'd probably obviously we'd have to probably draw some artwork up for it, maybe. Yeah. Um, you'd probably be looking around sort of fifteen hundred pound mark, I would have thought. Okay. Okay. And. And the AT, but we would need to see the design or at least have an idea of what we're exactly looking at. Wow, that was expensive. You're looking at about £200 plus that. Yep. And that was to make it look really good for you in camo. Um, we fit all the car, it'd be literally like it'd be half camo, half paintwork, or half the wrap underneath. Yeah, brilliant. That's exactly what I'm looking yeah. for. Now, I'm not here to undermine um, another company's work. I'm here to just basically do some research on the prices of which you should expect when you're calling other companies. I had a quote of £1,500 plus VAT, which seems a little bit steep if I'm completely honest with you. The £1,500 is completely what I would mostly look to pay on a 3M wrap. Like, I just didn't really understand, and I'm not sure if they understood what I was talking about. But let's take that as a benchmark at the highest price. The second price that I got in the second, obviously, from the lowest price was around about the £600 quoted by another company. The £600, if I'm completely honest with you, sounds more reasonable in the regards to the fact that I did thoroughly explain what I wanted, and he seemed to understand as well of what I was looking for. The last quote that I got was around about the £200 mark. Now, that one was completely and utterly more justified. However, it did take me about 15 minutes to actually get an answer from the gentleman on the phone. 
Now, 200 pounds is, let's say for example, a justified amount of money in regards to the fact that they are looking at labor costs, they are looking at material costs, and they are looking at laying those stickers down onto um, my car over, let's say, kind of a day period. However, it still doesn't cut the 30 pound that I actually managed to wrap my car for. Let me explain to you the steps when wrapping your car. First of all, it's gonna be the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need wrap, you're gonna need a squeegee, and you're gonna need a standing knife and a suitable surface of which you can actually cut the wrap on. I myself actually went out and bought a pasting table, but I needed a pasting table anyway, so I took it out of my costs in regards to the wrapping. Now, for the standing blades and the standing knife that I actually bought, I bought a pack of three from B&Q, and it cost me around about two pounds, two pound 50-ish. Um, I then, for the squeegee, went onto eBay, ordered the squeegee online. Um, I tried to get the best quality one, and I also looked to reviews as well, because I've ordered the squeegee in the past, and they're not always the best thing. Um, and I went with one with a velvet edging so that you could actually then not scratch the paint of the car. That was around about the £2.50 mark as well. And I paid £25 for five metres of wrap, which I still had three metres of it sitting in my friend's garage. That's how little wrap I actually used to wrap my car. A lot of people will argue that the wrap that I actually bought was not the best of quality. A lot of people would argue it wouldn't even be suitable to actually stick on the car itself. Why? I bought sticker vinyl, not car vinyl. Do not buy vinyl from eBay, it is shit. It's as simple as that. First thing that you need to do is go onto Google, type in vinyl suppliers, car vinyl suppliers, whatever is the best option for yourself. And it should give you a full selection of local ones within your area. After you've found the nearest supplier to you, ring them up, go on their website, start looking at their prices. Are they cheap? Are they too expensive? Is the stick of vinyl cheaper than the car vinyl? In my case, it was. So I chose the color that I wanted, and then from there, I ordered what I needed. You can either go and pick up the wrap, or you can actually get it ordered to your house. It's completely up to you, but delivery, once again, might be extra cost. So we're taking everything into consideration. The second thing, obviously, was the squeegee. Pay attention to the squeegee that you're buying on eBay. eBay is okay to buy a squeegee with. Once again, a lot of car wrappers might argue my point is invalid. However, I'm telling you that it was okay. I went online, I found a decent supplier and a decent seller on eBay, and I found someone that had high reviews. I also looked into reviews on the product just to make sure that nobody had actually experienced scratching on their car. I went with a velvet edging so that I didn't actually purposely put plastic to my car, and then from there, I layered the vinyl down. The third thing is the standing knives. Go to B&Q, go to Wix, go to your nearest DIY store, find yourself something which is cheap. You do not need to go out and buy yourself a 50 pound blade or Stanley, uh, then put blades into it. It's just not cost effective. The thing which I actually forgot to mention and which I feel that is most really crucial is a ruler. Um, why? Because you want to get the edges straight. Now, I myself had a metal ruler which I already owned and I had a meter ruler as well. Um, once again, if you want to take these into consideration in the cost, you might end up boosting your price range to around about the £35 mark. However, if you have these supplies already, if you don't want to buy a metal ruler and you want to stick to Obviously, let's say for example, a plastic one that you've got at home, you can spend about say 10 pence on a ruler in something like Hobbycraft and get that shit done quick. Simple. The next step is to lay out the vinyl onto a pasting table, onto your kitchen side, or anywhere that you feel that somebody's not gonna screw at you for cutting. In my case, it would have been my mum. She would have fucking battered me. Um, and what you're gonna need to then do is obviously start, flip the vinyl over, once you've got it, once you've got it in place, flip the vinyl over and start cutting shapes. Cut shapes to the shape of your car. Go onto Instagram, look at people who have vinyl wraps and start looking into the shapes that they have on their cars as well. Why? Because they've most probably paid for a professional to do that. However, you're doing this on a DIY budget and you're still gonna kill everything you're still gonna kill it out there people are still gonna be turning heads my advice to you would be cut a very simple I don't know say 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square off of the vinyl go to your car layer it down and actually then apply it to the car get yourself into practice of making sure that you get the bubbles out find out the best techniques that you can use and really if you do screw it up just pull it back off again a lot of people would also argue that you might need a heat gun for the process. I personally didn't use a heat gun, and I can tell you that I only have maybe say one or two of the smallest bubbles that you could potentially see with a magnifying glass on the wrap. Why didn't I use a heat gun? Because I didn't do impossible shapes guys. This is a home DIY job, I cannot stress it enough. 
if you are going to do this at home if you're going to do this in your driveway outside your garage in your garage on the street wherever you're doing this please don't expect it to be an out of the factory finish it's just not going to work that way the best way for you to basically make that car look the best that you possibly can is don't do anything which is too impossible for yourself to give you an example I ended up cutting shapes which I found that when I was actually applying them to the car I was getting to sections which I wouldn't be able to deal without a heat gun so I cut them made them smaller I accommodated for the area I peeled them off I started again and I went with the shapes that I could basically make fit my car let me show you the car quick you can see the paintwork and you can see the wrap that I've got on the car um, it's nothing too impressive but it makes it stand out slightly more it took me from around about 11 o'clock in the morning to about 8 o'clock that evening and that was just due to me moving and chatting all at the same time guys this is simple for you to do it's 30 pounds and it's really really easy um, it doesn't even need to be 30 pounds i guarantee you i could have mostly found it for cheaper if i'd looked further afield if you do this tag us on instagram if i've influenced someone to now go out and buy some vinyl wrap and get it onto their car please i beg of you tag us on instagram make sure you show us because if i'm going to be honest with you that will make my day make sure you stay tuned in on the youtube channel because there's going to be a lot more vlogs coming watch number one and watch number two they're slightly differently focused than this one um, but it's going to be a really really fun um, couple of weeks and a couple of months shooting as many videos as we can keep an eye out peace out subtle enough to make the car still look mate I'm getting attacked by flies and pigeons and shit another fucking guy's coming